Greetings everybody and welcome back to Daddy the Grand Plays Hades the Big Bad Update. I actually did a sword run off camera and I sadly legitimately did it off camera because I was actually recording but it only recorded my voice as I was playing the game but sadly no actually footage was shown which was a big shame because the run ended up being super strong and very fun to play and Hades never saw the light of the day in that fight. So here we are again. I played on YouTube the rail actually for the last time so I'm not going to take that again now. I think it actually has been quite a while since I've played the shield for the last time so let's grab it. Pretty scary Maybe I should switch things up. Grab this, punch a statue. One more time. Just to mess with my skelly pal you know. He needs it every now and then. And off we go. Good start. Don't work yourself too hard down there. You promise, little goblin? I can't Maybe promise anything. Can spirits on Olympus here. I can't promise you anything, girl. But I do take your passion dash. Also kind of interested in the heartbreak furish because no I have a hunch that I will get the... What's it called? What exploded there? I am actually kind of confused now what exploded there. Um, I have a feeling that I will get the explosive return on this run again and I would very, very much be interested in that. Alright, grab the darkness and... Interesting, let's go for Zeus here. Poseidon with a shield, also interesting, but... I had about enough out of Poseidon because he was actually showing up in the last run as well. And he was basically the main player of the last run I uploaded on YouTube. So, yeah. If I can, I will avoid him in here. I'd ask you all for my respect to your old father, Zagreus. Mm -hmm. I suspect you won't have such a chance anytime soon. Considering how far you'll come with my support. Let me see that support first and be the judge of that, Zeus. And you know what? The attack actually pretty fine here. Maybe Zeus is onto something there. Maybe. Just maybe. Ooh-wee. Let's see here. Boom. I gotta say, the Zeus chain lightning effect on the attack is actually pretty cool. And now I'm actually probably pretty interested in getting double regular attacks. Those would be very huge potentially. There's the hammer taking that one. Or Dashing Wallop. I think Dashing Wallop also has quite a bit of potential to amaze me here. We shall see. Of course, Explosive Launcher still pretty interesting in here as well. And of course, I don't get any of the options I just named. Of course, I don't. Let's take the Sudden Rush here. Oh, that would have been too nice, you know. Not in particular need for any of those options, so let's take the key. Ah, oh, that's a disappointment. Of all the good things we could have gotten, we ain't getting any. Come on, then. I mean, I'm not even against the faster charging attack. It's a pretty cool boon too, but... I just don't think it's gonna be all that influential, all that run-defining with Zeus's chain acting effect on my attack. I just don't see that. Maybe it will, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't see it. But you know what? Let's not judge too soon. Let's give the run a chance. Let's give the run a chance to actually a amaze us. And who knows? Maybe, just maybe, this run will go full circle and every everything will end up in amazement. There's Athena, let's go say hey. Maybe I won't even end up having that Zeus boon for long. Maybe I will actually get another attack boon very soon and... Then I'll look funny. Oh, by the way, um, I would absolutely be interested in getting the Athena cast here. Because that would open us up for a very, very fun to use duo boon. Sometimes I think about what you've endured. To have been living in 
that loathsome squalor. Cousin. That's not so bad. I swear, you'll have your justice. It really isn't that bad, you know. Now she wants to replace my dash, of which I'm not interested. Of course, she's offering sure footing because that's a running gag right there. I feel like it's a double running gag because on one hand she always offers it to me, always an epic quality. Or I run to traps like an idiot. And here I take... Let's actually take this special here, why not? Violets. Let's also take this one. Of the gods. Make the special a bit stronger, I think. Yeah, sure. Why not. And you know what? I basically, between my dash and my special, I already have a run here. I could live on doing nothing but actually using my special my attack here. Maybe I will. Try to stop me. To which I can only reply, don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. And trust me, my enemies, they ain't having a ball here. What? We have a pet problem. Hmm. But I'm pretty sure we can deal with this particular pest problem pretty easy. And only you. 90 out of 100. It's pretty good. Back in school, that would have been an A. Oh. Nothing to look at there. Blue Loundrels. Maybe I can be persuaded to meet Chaos here. Maybe I can be. We shall see. I have already forgotten what my rumor rod will be for this one. I think... HP? Was it HP? Yes, HP. Uh, not too interested in any of those. Okay, sure. Give Chaos a chance. Maybe it will amaze me. Do I think he will? No, probably not. Will I give him a chance? Yeah, sure, why not? Let us see them, then. And you know what? First of all, I'm not all that amazed by any of these. I think I will take more cast damage in here. I'm not particularly interested in getting all that much more darkness and... More HP is nice, but you know, the cast damage actually has the potential to be amazing. And you know what? The prophecy came true. I actually get a worthwhile attack in here. Let's take it. Hermes is here as well. Let's take the Greater Haste. I so rarely take that one. I so very rarely take that one. I so was hoping you'd show up just now. Well, glad that hope came full circle for you. And you know what? Maybe we will get the... I mean, basically now I'm not able to get the Zeus Athena Dragoon anymore, which is sad. But maybe I can get Merciless Ant on this run. Which would be nice, because I had that on the last run as well, and I feel like you guys... You guys missed out on that run, let's say it like that. It was a very strong one, it was very potent. And I would like to replicate that. She should be dead here. As I said, she dead here. She did do the dying. Pretty nice, pretty okay fight. Took a bit of damage there, but it's not that much. And Hades has nothing to say here. He wasn't saying anything in here for me the last time I went through this spot as well, so... You know what? Okay. I'm starting to take a sense of offense to that. And you know what? Actually, actually taking the Eye of here as well. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed in Zeus here because he used to care, you know? He used to care. He used to give me his mark remarks every chance he got. Made it and now look at this. Where's the love? Where's the hate? Where's the emotion? Now all Zagreus has is being able to say, Hey, look at that, some money. Zagreus deserves better. He deserves better from you, Zeus. Uh, Hades. Man, all these bearded Greek gods. Oh, 
but yeah, as you can see, damage is looking fine as hell here. And you know what? Blinding Flash is pretty okay here as well. Could go for a reroll here. Maybe I would too. I have the Lamy. I just don't mind if I do. Let's try rerolling the Ooh, HP the here first. There is Zeus again. I mean, sure. On to the next one. I don't think I really want or need to see him again here. I mean, expect if he is giving me his call, his rod back. I would actually be very interested in that. Boom. And boom again. There is also actually a case to use my charge attack now, which is very nice. And as you can see, my eyes of the Lamia are paying out of all the snacks. Not needing them because we didn't deal, uh, take a lot of damage here, but it's still pretty good. Uh, it's a common rarity, but it's still pretty strong. Let's take it. I think the difference between a common rarity Zeus Wrath effect and an epic one isn't even all that high. I think the epic one was giving like... How much was it? 110? 111? Something in that ballpark. Is what I seem to remember. And yeah, my attack actually deflecting these guys' bullets. Which is very nice. Deflecting them as I dash into these jesters. Which is just my cup of coffee. Nice. And even more snacks. Because I have two eyes of the Lamia in here, they just keep coming. All I need to do is eat. I think I actually ate something in there in between. There's a palm. Stronger special. Stronger holy shield. I actually think I'm taking the stronger passion dash here. And now we have stronger casts. Not having an actual cast though, which kind of bumps me out. Let's go meet Ares here. He has a couple of good things he could give me. Let's see them enemies. Bring them. Come on enemies, where you at? There they at. And I still have one Eye of Lamia active, so we are still able to get some snacks. So if we take damage, it probably won't be as bad. Should that encourage me to take damage? Nope. Will I take damage in here? Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. And as you can see, as you can witness, Zeus Wrath, pretty strong even on the lowest of rarities. And it is beautiful. There's the Vengeful Mood. That's not actually the one I wanted. But you know what? I'm taking it anyway. It's me or them. And damn, now I actually hope that I get more revenge effects here. I only have the Holy Shield thus far, I believe. Um, we have the potential to have Zeus's, Ares's, and Aphrodite's. We shall see if we can make it happen. We shall see. The eventual mood actually deflected one of the Wavemaker's attacks back at him earlier, which was very nice. Which was very, very nice indeed, if you ask me. There you go. There it was again. Didn't really do all that much in that situation, but I appreciate it anyway. Nothing I need from this. There's a chest for money. Let's fight. One, two, three, four, five. That's more or less. 3.5 to 5 seconds is what it feels like. It's not quite there. But it's pretty close. And yeah. Not a fan of these hypermobile enemies. Backed up by a lot of bullets. 
But apparently that was what I had to deal with there. Let's go to the shop. Let's hope that it's gonna be worth my while. It's not quite worth my while. Mm hmm. Gotta say, all of these, not that exciting. They really are not that exciting, so let's go for the special here, hope for the best. Fight the Bone Hydra. Don't you have something to say to me? Imagine the Bone Hydra actually being able to fight. Uh, by to fight, I mean to talk, of course. Well, that should be kind of amazing, wouldn't it? Maybe the Hydra is actually super well spoken, super eloquent. Just not in a language we can compute. I mean, just imagine it. The main head having a PhD in modern medicine. And then each and every one of the small heads having a PhD in some kind of other area. One is a master in great Greek engineering. Another one is very interested in nutritional science. And I don't know, maybe this guy is child psychology. Yeah, this one looks like a psi child psychologist. And now I come in here. Now I come in here, entering this room, and slaughter a lot of them as they try to figure out a way to cure cancer, you know? Making me the absolute villain in this story. Now that would be a very ironic twist, wouldn't it? And you know what? That would actually justify this Hydra attacking me like it does. God knows, I would be annoyed as well when someone would disturb me like this as I am about to heal some kind of terminal illness. Oh well, it's a hard knock afterlife. And we're all just after living to come by, you know? So don't fret, Hydra. You will live to cure cancer another day. Of that, I am certain. But for now, you need to rest. And you know, good science actually demands taking a break every now and then. Taking breaks every now and then for high intensity works of all kinds actually increase productivity. Speak of productivity, we are about to enter Elysium here, making quite a good time, getting another Eye of the Lama, which is very nice. And what god do I even go with here? I could go hard on Ares, and I think that's actually going to be the play here. Could get his revenge damage effect, could get the Dubun between him and... Aphrodite between him and Athena. There's a lot of potential for Ares here. So let's see if we can leverage it. There's a man. As I was talking about him. And I am pretty sure that this hammer upgrade we will get on this floor whenever that may be. And whatever it ends up being. I think it will be a nice and substantial addition to the run. We actually got to a point where the dash attack is somewhat usable now. So yeah, this run could go into a plentitude of different directions depending on the boons we get here. Thanks for the snack there, by the way. Very nice. And there's Curse of Longing. Gotta say, that's not the one I expected or wanted, but I will take it anyway. This means war. And would you look at that? We have two Ares themed duo ones in here. Can we make it three? Well, that's asking the readers of questions. Let's see here. There's the hammer I was just having a dream about. Not sure what kind of hammer upgrade I even want in here. Gotta say, the way this run ended up evolving, there is 
A lot of things that would end up being neat, but nothing I would consider to be truly necessary and desirable. The fact that these three jokers just died there in a flash, though, that I consider to be very desirable. And here are not going to last either. Of that, I will make short work. That's a Daddy the Grand promise. It's just the edge I need. Pulverizing blow, would have liked that on the first floor. Explosive return, it's very strong, but... Cheers. I mean, there's no buts about it. It's actually very strong, just in general. Even with a Doom effect. And it's just free damage, you know, so there's also that. Very nice. And yeah, I hope we haven't seen a single mini-boss thus far. I hope that when we do, we will be able to get yet another duo winner here. We have two, and I am certain we can make a three. Thank you, thank you. Far too kind. Alright, getting busy enjoying then. And, yeah, these... Not all that amazing. Let's take the fast attack. Fighting for the money. There's Aphrodite waiting for me. I'm actually tempted to get a reroll in here. I think there's a lot to be said about doing that. Or for doing that. Let's put it like this. And yeah, these jokers stand no chance. Damnable fools. Yeah, I agree. These fools, they're pretty damnable. So... Yeah, it was no waste that I just threw them back into the underworld. There's Ares again. Oh, hello, man. Uh, it has been long enough since my last fight. Well, then it's about time that I step up to the plate and... Make you work for your money. And yeah, as you can see, the damage is... I would say it's pretty strong. Hey, don't call me useless. You're dead. You're down. As you should, my dear, dear friend. Well fought, Asterius. Yeah, very well fought indeed. Uh, there is the Merciful End. We got three Ares debuffs. Can we make it four? I don't think we can. I think the only one left he has is with Artemis, and we haven't seen her. And we would need to also get the cast here. Curse of Vengeance, of course, for the one duel one we already have. Also interesting, but Merciful End it is. There's Patroclus. Looking forward to getting that Kiss of Sticks off him again. Also looking forward to hopefully never needing that. I mean, Kiss of Six is quite a bit you can do for me here, so thanks for that. And... let's go for one more reroll here. Time to make some changes around here. There's Ares again, let's go. Hey, man. Yep. And yeah, this is actually doing quite a bit of work on these jokers. Yep. No chance in hell. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. Rears its head in all too many forms, I'm sure you know. Though you may never find them all, I nonetheless encourage you to try. Oh, I will try. You know what? You gotta go hard or go home. I kinda really want to take the slicing shot here. Just for the slim, slimmest of off chances that I might be able to get the fourth Duogun of him. But I absolutely would have needed to also meet Artemis in here, and that sadly wasn't in the cards. So instead, I will take the Curse of Vengeance in here. The God's power. I'll take it, and basically whenever I... You know what? I will actually try that out now. When I proc the Vengeful Mood, I hope, I think... There's Zeus again. What a goof. Should be useful. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I actually think the double strike is going to be the best taken here. Thunder and lightning. Uh, what I was about to say. When I use my Vengeful Mood, if I just stand there and the effect procs, 
Will that actually proc Merciful Land? Stop right there, and make your plans for death. Oh, I will make my plans for that here. Let's just stand here. Shield charged. Let's wait. No, it didn't. Let's say it one more time. At Prox now. No, sadly not. They absolutely happen simultaneously. That's a big old shame. But as you can see, the damage is ridiculous. That's pretty good. Seeing Poseidon here makes me very happy. And they are pretty much both down for the count already here. It's one down. He was invincible for all the time. And he followed suit. Oh, that's a shame. It would have been lovely if just standing there would give me free procs of that. It will do that because I do apply my Doom effect all the time with my regular special attack, but still. King Theseus has fallen to the likes of you. So it would seem. Oh yeah, Asterius, he actually fell for me twice, so there's that. Uh, let's grab this broken spear point. There's actually a case to be made about Mermaid Embracer being better here. There actually is a big case to be made for that. Oh, maybe I should have taken that, damn. I mean, just imagine a snakehead finding me and attacking me with its beam attack. That snakehead would take merciless, uh, merciful end damage over and over and over again for ridiculous numbers. What is this? Not even one god here waiting for me. My god. Let's see. I mean, sure, Hermes was there, but who cares about him, right? At least I don't, as of this very moment. Let's see. Let's start with re-rolling this. Let's try this instead. It's good. Let's try to re-roll this. Let's try to re-roll this again. Another. Pretty interesting. I start with the HP. I think no matter what I get here, I will do a full clear. And these jokers are dead. Oh, not quite. Can I get over there? Thank you. It's no use. Nothing I want to sell off here. My telephone is ringing. I've been getting a lot of calls from my... Um, what's it called? Internet provider lately. He wants me to upgrade so bad. I will not take that phone call now, but trust me when I say that it's probably most likely gonna be one of those jokers. Very, very likely. Oh boy. I really dislike getting calls at this time of the day. It's basically Monday evening. Calls you receive at this time of the day, not on your smartphone, but on your phone you have at home. Those usually are completely unnecessary annoyances, or they are bad news. Very bad news. And if it's bad news, then trust me, people know how to actually get in touch with me. Uh, let's get Hermes here. Uh, no, sure, let's take the... Let's take more dashes here. Being able to dash five times in quick succession is very, very amusing to me. Let's go meet Ares again here. Bother some bothers. Bothering me quite a bit. No need for that, no need for that either. Let's keep going then. And you're the last run, and you're dead. Yeah, I have, I have a hard time imagining Mandragora baiting Rotha to be all that tasty. I don't know, man. That's just not something I can see. And it's certainly something I can't and don't want to taste. I mean, sure, if I would be poisoned, I would reconsider it. But if given the choice... I would like to pass. Okay. 
I mean, there's a case to be made about these Mandra girls being here in the first place, right? I mean, what are they doing here? Are they paying rent? Can't tell me that having living plants is gonna be all good for a room. I mean, living plants taking baths in these rooms, you know? Just in about every room in here. I have a hard time believing that that's going to be all that good, all that worthwhile. Uh, I'm actually taking the dire misfortune here. Yeah, let's take it. The will to fight. I get to apply doom effects pretty regularly between my revenge damage, my vengeful mood, and my special actually hitting enemies twice, so... Seems to be a worthwhile thing to get. Let's go for the second hardest room here. No. You have no hope. I do have... I do hope you have a pleasant afterlife, though. So here's something to consider. When we fight through the first three floors, we are in the other world. Uh, in the other world. Killing enemies there doesn't make a difference because they are already dead. What's the worst that can happen to them, right? But in theory... Let's hear me out on this one. In theory, there should actually be a finite number of Zartyrs and Snake Cats and... Rats, right? There should be a point at which there simply are no more Satyrs in here because I just exterminated them all. Oh, that's neat, I suppose. In the name of Hades. And Different League is the better one all across the board in general, but Dying Lament, if I decide to go a bit deeper into the other rooms, that would be the other best choice. But I don't think I need to go deeper, so let's go for different leak here. No grab the snacks, thing. drink a zip. Enough of this place. And we actually have enough money to grab a palm and a centaur heart, so we do that as well. You, Holy shield, blinding flash, different leak. I mean, let's take the different leak here. 3% damage is 3% damage, you know. And let's hand the best boy the treats. The fearsome Cerberus accepts the satyr sack. That's a good boy. Oh, I heard that chomping noises. He was very hungry. Also pretty hairy. As you can see, he's leaving behind his hairs all across the floor. Alright, Hades. Ready for your next death? Crisp cold air. I thought the last one was strong, but this one actually trumps that. And it actually goes in a very similar direction, but it's just... In what I'm now forced to do. It's just way over the top. All right, Hades, let's see what you get. Nope. That damage means absolutely nothing to me. Yes, I do. Lashing out like it's nobody's business. And there is nothing you, my dear friend, can do about it. Damn! I was hoping we could actually end him without him going to stealth. There you are. That would have been lovely. Yes! Just accept your fate. Hades, my friend. My darling. There's no scenario, no alternative universe where you go out of this fight as the victor. You may get some hits in there every now and then. But you know what I would call these hits? Pity. Good old Daddy the Grand Pity. Yes. I wanted this. And now I am happy to provide you with a lot of pain. I may lose a life here. Look how much I care. He is at his first marker. No. Hades, my dear, you are basically done for. You just don't know it yet. No. Don't put your cast in me. There you go. What can I say? I had Ares, and Ares had a lot of help. That was 
pretty much all it took to win this one. Hades vanquished, and I am very happy about that occasion. I did it. Look at that, man. Curse of Longing, Merciful End, Vengeful Mood. I don't even think that Merciful End and Curse of Longing even work all that well together, but you know what? It's a thought that counts. I am very happy about this event. And yeah, as you can see, that first Chaos Room, it uh, really ended up paying dividends with all the strong casts we had here. Alright, give me the darkness, I earned it. And guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, let me know in the comments below. I love getting in touch with you. It's basically my everyday highlight, seeing your comments down in my videos. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next videos as well. Until then, have the greatest of days.